Hey guys, welcome to another Substance Painter related tutorial and I'm going to show you how that you can install um, or add your own uh, materials, things that you might have added from Substance Designer, you might have got them from Substance Share, GameTextures.com or Substance Source from the company who are actually behind Substance itself. You will get a wide range of materials throughout the internet and when you download them they'll become in two particular formats they'll come in SBSAR and SPSM now the most common probably format you'll find is the first one the SBSAR which is just a basic material type with no um, extra sort of layers added to them in terms of if they've added sort of any grunge overlays or any other elements to it whereas the SPSM is something that would be a smart material which might already have grunges, dirt already applied to that material so um, it just depends where you've got them from and how you want to use them. So fairly, they're both fairly standardized when it comes to installing them into Substance itself. And what you'll get if you can see in the sort of hierarchy here that I've got, I've got an iron rusty SBSAR and a fabric military SPSM. One is a smart material and one is a normal material. Now what we'll do is I'll copy the first, the normal material that we've got. And we want to find a way to install these. So usually we'll have to navigate to whatever uh, PC, usually your documents, documents and Substance Painter 2. And you will navigate to that folder and you will click on shelf. And then you will get... Um, a list of folders in here and this is where you, all your things from your shelf will be added that you will add you know yourself really and what you can do is you can go to your materials folder and you can see my materials folder is full of SBSAR um, files and they're all the standard materials that I might have downloaded from share source and the like and what you can do is you can right click and paste Iron Rusty there. I already have it in my folder, but that doesn't matter. You can go back to materials folder and copy the um, smart material, the SPSM, and you can press back and then you can go to your smart materials folder. And if you need to, you can paste that in there to that folder with all those materials. Then when you open up Substance Painter, you can check out your smart materials and your materials and if it's a new actual material that you've wanted to um, actually bring in yourself, um, it might take a, one particular material might take a long time to actually load. So we added iron rusty, which is this material here. And in our smart materials, we added a new woodland. And these are the range of woodland ones that I already have here. So really all it is a simple way is when you download them or create them from designer you need to make sure that they go in documents, substance painter 2 and inside the correct folder in the shelf and then when you open substance you'll be able to see them within it. You might need to close and reopen substance if um, you've dragged it in, dragged the uh, material files in whilst it was open or it might not read the file from the um, actual directory. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.